Well, good day, everyone, and welcome to the show. You got your mic on? I got my mic. You're chewing your gum? That's right. You're going to spit out your gum? Hey. Ground zero in the house. You spit it out? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, Don't want to have mic. So anyways, if you caught the little stream earlier, this place has the worst cell phone service imaginable. So hopefully everything goes well. We're going to do this pre-recorded. I hate doing that, That's but... Right. We got a show to do, we got two shows to do, so, so let's just go ahead and get started. So just pan on the other side so they can see. Well, let's um, get over to the audio control booth. That's right, and that's we'll the sponsor see. of the show. Yeah. Oh, what? All right. So what are we at, Fernando? All right, so we are in the audio control booth. Uh, Chris Bennett, it's around here. That's Matthew. And uh, they got this Tesla. is the demo. This is the demo car for audio control. Check it out right here. Look at that. This is a Tesla model. So definitely it's beautiful. See if we can see inside. Once you grab the door. Okay, there you go. So we got some ARC audio. We got a DSP, DMA 10. Looking all sexy. So Audio Control is our sponsor for the show. That's right. It's really, really loud in here. So we're gonna do the best we can to make sure you guys can hear everything we say. They have a display. There's a bunch of people in front of that. So we'll maybe come, we'll circle back around and we'll look at that some more. They got the yeah. five channel over there. They got the LGDs. They had the new um, AX, ACX amplifiers. Um, the which ones? The, the new amplifiers, marine amplifiers. Oh yeah. Yeah, so they are all water resistance. I mean, it's, it's water resistance. Waterproof? It's waterproof, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. I know, I want to do some fun videos with that. I want to. I, I asked Chris. I said, "Can we just duck them in a bucket of water and swirl them around?" And we were thinking back? about that, but I'm like, ah, I don't know, man. I, I mean, they they hey. they look like bulletproof, definitely. So. Well, we're gonna head out. So the plan today is to film half of the show floor, and then we'll film the other half tomorrow, and it'll be we'll fun. See what's going on? So let's head over to the beginning. So we're gonna walk back the way we just came in, and start. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go do this it. way. Want this way? Yep. So it looks like first up is going to be Kingpin University. Look at that. Look at that. What do they got? Hey, guys. Hey. How's it going? So, what's going on, guys? How you doing today? Just, uh, just enjoying the first day. You know, it's, uh, they just opened up the show floor, so it's, uh, it's nice to see a lot of people out here today. For the people that they don't know you, uh, who you are, where you guys located. And My name is Jamil Witty. I'm with Traffic Jams Motorsports. This is Michael Bischoff, known as Biscuit. Uh, we're from Atlanta, Georgia. So we came all the way to the West Coast, all the way from the East Coast, man. Just like you guys, man. Oh, there you go. So the people from Atlanta, <laughs> if you guys actually looking for a shop. Hey, show me what you're here for. So let me show you over here. So we're here. Uh, Today we're showing off our, our performance enclosures. Um, we started uh, doing these about three months ago. Um, now they're actually full production, ready to ship. Uh, right now we have the boxes for the Chevy Silverado, the F-150 and the Dodge Rams. We have the Jeep Gladiator, uh, Toyota Tacoma and Tundra right now in the works. Uh, these, shot, these boxes are ready to ship out. They're about four days from anybody in the country. And uh, we have two levels. We have a level one and a level two. Uh, so right now we're out here just showing them off to, to the rest of the industry, seeing if we can uh, drum up some, uh, some new clientele and show them what we can do. That's awesome. So, so I, I noticed you got this cool laser cut panel here that has your name on it because mm -hmm. you got a Gold Forge cool. over there. Mm -hmm. Is this is this changeable? Like, can they order specific so panels? Is, so level two is, uh, is all customizable. Okay. You send us your logo. Okay. We could go ahead and put your shop logo or whatever your customer wants to put put on the box. Awesome. Uh, everything is done in house. Uh, anything of the lasers or CNCs we do in house. So uh, yeah, it's a fully customizable for your customer. Awesome. Yes. 
So definitely, uh, I want to I want to encourage people to come out to our webpage. Uh, it's Traffic Jams Motorsports. Um, there is a section on our webpage that is the performance enclosures, and uh, like I said, all these boxes are ready to go, ready to ship. That's awesome. And the last the last time, where are you guys located? We're uh, from Atlanta, Georgia, a little town called Beaufort, Georgia. So we're about 45 minutes of uh, north of Atlanta. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you so much, Jamil. Thank you, thank thank you. Michael. Thank you. Thank you. It's Biscuit. That's Biscuit. It's Biscuit. That's right. right there. So, thank you guys, man. Who's this guy right here? What's going on, buddy? How you doing, man? Good. Hey, where's your keychain? Do we have to make uh, you another I one? Still have it. I we still got, have we're going to make you a we're going to make you a bigger one. Hey. <laughs> we'll call him Flavor Flavor Flav. Flavor <laughs> Fernando. You you're vertically challenged. <laughs> but you're horizontally gifted right here. Hey, That's what he keeps telling me. Oh, good. Hey guys, God. That's for bad. you guys don't know um who you are, where you located. Just a guy that does stuff. And I'm in Las Vegas now. It's sunny every day of the week. Nice. I get to enjoy sunshine like you guys do every day of the week. I know, it's right? so much nicer. Isn't it? Dude, I'm so happy to be in sunshine all the time. I know. It's so awesome. That's yes. Awesome. So, Gimpy University, what are you guys over? Say what? What are you guys over the industry? Oh, what do we offer? Okay, I'm sorry. The background music. Oh, it's so loud in here. Yes. And I'm sure okay, they didn't so, hear you because you didn't put the mic to your face when you asked right. the question. Yeah, okay. So so the cool part about what's happening this year is 2020 is a big year. So, so we are we got some things coming down I can't really talk about, but we're adding a bunch more product lines. So besides courses that we teach, um, all the way from uh, beginner tech, tier one tech, uh, we have a laser course, we have a sales course. Um, we have a radar detector course. We have four fab courses. We have a tuning class. And we do a lot of uh, manufacturer courses. Um, so that's the kind of the training side of things to do. And then we also manufacture parts and pieces uh, for the fab stuff to make your life easier uh, back in the shop. And on top of that, we've now distributed things like router bits and templates tape and our CA glues. And that's now transforming over to, we're distributing the TGM performance enclosures. We have Exile uh, Marine Audio amplifiers and speakers and SQ Audio, the Soundwave. Sounds uh, deadening materials, another product we distribute. And we have a lot more things coming out on the distribution side of that. That is awesome. And last time, where is the location? It's in Las Vegas, Nevada. But you can find them the anywhere on the web. On the web. At What's the web? .com. There you go. Say it one more time. KeepingUniversity.com. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you. Good to see you, guys again. Good to see you man. You ready? Right. Yeah. You sure? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, where are we going? That way? Let's keep going this way. What All do right. we got here? USA Spec. Um, these guys make a bunch of products that just plug in from the factory and make right. things super easy. Um, you guys can check it out on the website. All right, let's, let's see what we can get them to talk let's, about. Let's see. Um, hey guys, how you doing? How are you, man? Nice to meet you. Good, Fernando from Five Star Car Stereo. Oh, okay, cool. Um, what do you guys offer to this show? Well, we're based out of City of Industry, California. My name is Victor. And what we have today is we have our OEM grade blind spot detection system. Okay. Unlike anything in the market today, this is the system that's most recommended by the industry because of its OEM grade quality. It's the only one in the market that detects vehicles as they're passing up and as they're coming up from behind. So it gives you a really good readout. It also is a multi-channel system, so it's constantly detecting the objects that are coming up from behind you and it's constantly calculating the distance, the size, and the speed, so it knows when something is of a threat to the vehicle, and it knows when to alert you and when not to alert you. For example, right now I have the rear cross traffic function enabled. Okay. I could put my hand here, and the system doesn't alert you because it knows that I'm not a threat. But the minute I come to the sensor at a certain speed and I go like this, now it says, wait a second, there's something coming. And, and I'm close here, but this is 100 feet out that way. So if something 100 feet away from you is coming at a, at a speed where the device or the vehicle is a threat to the vehicle, it'll alert you 100 feet out. That is nice. Where do you guys get, um, where they can find you? Well, we're um, usaspec.com is the website. You can also find us on Facebook or Instagram okay. uh, at USA Spec. And we have all of our videos as well on YouTube. We have our YouTube channel, USA Spec. And uh, you have all these videos at your disposal where we, so, where we yeah. go over in detail as far as what you need in order to be able to install it. That is cool. awesome, guys. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. You too. Radar detectors. Radar detectors. Yeah. Yep. Beyond radar.
We don't want people going fast, but if they're gonna go fast, you need a radar detector. Definitely a radar detector, so we here. Sound skin. Hey, how's it going? How are you how's doing? So, what do you have? not to interrupt your drink, what do we got here? Well, what we got here is we're working with American Hard Bag on a whole set of Harley kits. As okay. You can see. And if you come on over here, you're going to see the first example of the work. Oh, wow. Look at so, that. So, you know, for the very popular ferry uh, bags where people love now to put in speakers and amps, we're now going to have pre cut kits. So it's going to make it really easy to do. So you guys don't have to cut it piece by piece. Everything is pre-cut. Everything is pre-cut. Uh, we also have done that with uh, the Jeep JK and the Jeep JL. And those kits are available now. Where do that they find awesome. them? Pardon? Where do Where they do find the kits? Them? They find them. Just go to Sound Skins. And then they'll and find a, a dealer? And to find a dealer. Or you can go to Soundskins online to order the product yourself. Okay. But we would prefer you to go to a direct to a dealer and uh, allow them to do a professional installation on the product. Uh, but there are a number of do-it-yourselfers, so you can go to a dealer and just buy the kit over the counter. So, uh, do you guys have on your website like a dealer list of the people? We do have a dealer locator on our website, okay. so you can find a dealer that is local to you. That's not, awesome. And if not, you can always call us and we'll direct you to the nearest dealer. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's All right. So we're moving over here. Term Lab. Look at that. So oh, for the all term these lab. guys, oh, yeah. they there actually are like SPL. They want to know how many DVs you actually system does. Areas. So, yeah, we got to get one of these. Definitely. Okay, look at that. All right, let's keep, keep that moving is awesome. here. Oh, here we go. Wow, then we have more big subwoofers. DD Audio. DD Audio. Oh, wow. That's insane. That? Yeah. Holy crap. How are you guys doing today? Good. What do you guys have over there? We have over there? Uh, it's a 15 inch ESP subwoofer. Okay. DD Audio. Um, that's one that we use actually. We have a, a demo vehicle called the DD Kong. It travels around the some of the bigger shows like Slamology and places like that. And that's actually our spare sub out of it. But it showcases the uh, ESP technology in the subwoofers as well as our customization abilities. So you got a uh, ability to powder coat baskets, custom logos on the baskets, uh, carbon fiber cones, and then um, yeah, so it just kind of shows the stuff that we do. What kind of new product do you guys bring today? Uh, the new newest stuff. Um, we're coming out. We've got a, got a couple of products like uh, got our uh, BSI, which is a base signal integrator, okay. um, and that's just where you can. Can hone in on uh, on a frequency. It's a one-band parametric EQ with a uh, subsonic filters and stuff. So you can uh, use it as an extended bass shelf, or you can use it to put bass in music that doesn't necessarily have. Um, then it's a, uh, a line output converter, so you can you know when you're adding bass to a factory system. That is awesome, and of course the regular line that you guys have amplifiers and uh -huh. and. Yep. And then uh, neat things like our RCA system there. That's a completely. It's a, a system where you buy a couple of parts and you can make any RCA you want. I'm interested about oh, that. Yeah. You, that's yeah, so, awesome, uh, isn't it? So you buy. I don't have any. Oh. Right here. Yeah. So. Let's they got see. a great video online showing you how to do this. Yeah. Yeah. So you buy you buy the RCA cable on a roll, 250 foot roll, uh, and then you just buy the ends you need. We have male ends, female ends, and Y connectors, so you can virtually make any RCA configuration you want and not have to stock all the little separate pieces. You just stock the main pieces. And then uh, a lot of DSP guys and bike guys use it because they need a lot of short, little short cables or they need, and they're never the right length when you buy them prepackaged. So this way you can make it whatever, and no matter what install, you can make it whatever length you want. Yeah, it gives the, uh, gives the dealer a way to also sell a customized cable to the customer versus something just off the shelf. And it's a high quality, very low resistance. So it's, it's a pretty cool system. 
That is awesome and well. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. You ready to keep moving? Let's go. All right. Oh, here we go. Mobile Solutions. We have Mobile Solutions over here. Very loud. It's always loud. All right. You guys know we use this stuff. So Lots like you guys fun. know, we have over here uh, the RTAs. There you go. Uh, you guys always PT9A. see the PT9A. Mobile Solutions where you pick Definitely. it up. Definitely. Of course, you know we got one of these. It's brand new. We just got one of those the other day. We use these all the time. Pry you tools. Know. Pry if tool. you actually need oh, a pry yeah, tool, dude, this is the best, the best pry tools. Man. These things are awesome. This is what we use to pull, like, because it's so thin. This fits right up in the dash. Oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, yeah. You know, ours have uh, big things on them, but those are awesome. In just mobile solution, they just don't don't carry this. They carry all this. Yeah, router, router bits. bits, templates, uh, test the tape. You know, if you guys Actually, see Mark at Mobile Solutions, I'm uh -huh. sorry, Mark from Cardio Fabricator. Cardio Fabricator. Mobile Solutions is a big sponsor of his show. So these are all the parts. This is where it's at. They come to this show so they can get, uh, you know, us, the professionals, the products to use. And there Brian! So, what's up, Brian? What's happening, man? How is everything? How's the show? Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, we're happy to be here. How about you guys? Oh, we're good. We're good, you know, happy. You guys are killing it. I don't know about that. You guys are doing good things. Great things for our industry, too. So what do you guys have today? Uh, you know, we got a lot of different things. We got all of our router accessories, all the glues and tapes, all the electrical stuff, you know, for all the guys that are doing tuning and DSP. So we have a whole kind of strategy with that. We've partnered with Ken Ward on some of that stuff. So it's really cool. We have that, we have this, yeah. we have that. We have all this. You need all this. You need this to do what we do. 100%. Okay. So then, then we're kind of showing off our new router cable here. And, oh, yeah. uh, you know, it's got, it's, it's cool. I've got a coffee cup down here. But, uh, <laughs> don't forget about it. But this is actually the dust collection. It comes down here like that. Oh, yeah. So it's actually integrated. It's integrated into that cross member. It's cool. So when you, you turn the router on, the, this gate opens up. The vacuum turns on, the, mount, the router turns on, and it's all fully automatic. You shut it, everything shuts by itself. It's fully automatic, so it's really cool. Yeah, I love really this. Really cool. This is awesome. Yeah. And this is available? This is available as a product, yeah. 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 So you got come check this out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this guy, we built this in our last subwoofer class. And we had Tom Miller and Chris Giotto. And Gary Bell and JT and a couple other guys. It was a lot of fun, but uh, we're just showing off a lot of these finishes, aluminum work, um, how to bend the acrylic. It's a really cool enclosure. So it's a down firing uh, sub enclosure that's floating. The idea, the concept is it's floating. And to my, tomorrow in my seminar, I'm going to break down how we built this. So it's good that you say that in your seminar because you guys actually offer classes to know how to build this stuff. 100%, yeah. So Where are you guys are located? We're in Tempe, Arizona. Yeah, Te Tempe, Arizona. So it's, it's, it's uh, we have 8,000 square feet, world-class facility, uh, metal shop, wood shop, upholstery. We have a whole technology room, two CNC's. I saw the pictures and they look really nice. Yeah, so and we practice what we preach on our business, you know. But yeah, so you guys got to come check us out. Definitely. Sure. Well, thank you so much, Brian. I see you guys around. Right. Thank you. Sound shield? Sound shield, yeah, definitely. This is uh, for people that actually want the sound dampening or the treatment a lot of for this the doors. Stuff here. Yep. People want their stuff quiet. We have a lot of manufacturers. Pretty awesome. All right, moving on. What do we have? Eton. Oh, yeah, okay. It's another manufacturer. Well, yeah, that's, that's usually how that works. We got some uh, BMW factory replacement speakers here. So this is that subwoofer that goes up underneath the seat. Ooh, these are this is a full BMW set right oh, here. Yes, Ooh, we got is. some laser cut panels. That's nice. Um, yeah. Oh, we great. We got some subwoofer enclosures. Audio mobile. Perfect. 
Nice. All right, we got some woofers. Oh, I love it when people do this. They take the woofer apart and let us see what it's made out of. Eight inch. Oh, shallow, shallow mount. mount. Yeah, look, look at that, that one. That yeah, is nice. That's cool. Yeah. There we go. This one, it looks big. That's a triple stack, baby. <laughs> Three magnets. That's it. So, Eton there. All right. Yep. We got some cars over here. We'll come back to those. Yeah, we'll come this back to those. This is the Focal booth. They've, they've rented, so it's like from this orange truck here. Actually, it's from the motorcycle behind yeah. the truck. Yes, that we keep hearing all the way across here. That's right. These cars are theirs. So let's head into the booth and see what, what we got going on here. They, of course, have their new um, Flak series. Yeah, new Flak series, total redesign. You guys should recognize this guy. He's been on the show before. That's right. All right, so the famed plug and plays. So these are all these are all uh, all new. These are which ones are this these? This is the uh, plug and play. Yeah, but what, which one is that? That these are Toyotas. This these is, are all no, Toyotas. This is this is uh, yes, this is all Toyotas. Yeah, all Toyotas. So this is the component set, component yep. set, coaxial. Yep. yep. That's and right. then you can get this in a coaxial as well. Correct. These are all the new BMW replacements. On your seat. Um, yeah, so these these are new. These are yeah, they've this had is, these yeah, before, this but this is the newer version of them. Now it looks like they have that. so many D harnesses. That. This is nice. So this is a plug and play amplifier. That's right. Is there anything else showing Yeah. Uh, now also Fogal came out with Oh K two motorcycle motorcycle stuff. Uh, you gotta tell really me about nice. this, Nalika. All these people. I got, I need to know about oh. this. For all these people that actually have a motorcycle and they want that performance of the K2s, there you go. Now you can actually add it to the Yeah, you get the, to grill, the motorcycle. The yeah. tweeter goes here, tweeter goes here, super loud. All right. This is so nice. So over here is Illusion. We'll come back. I want, we'll, we'll, let's, let's keep moving here. So we got the Illusion line. You guys hear us talk about this a lot. So we got Moscone amplifiers. Gladen. Uh, there's a Gladen amplifier. These, I think, are the new... Those are the new Moscone minis. And this is the, This is it right here. These are the new... That's, yeah, uh -huh. that's the little, little tiny middler. That's, that's right. it. That's the monster right there. Look at how small that is with that little tweeter. This thing's bi-ampable. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, and there's that little Bluetooth and dongle. Do you guys recognize this? Oh, yeah. It's just right. sitting on the counter. They're brave. Exactly. Uh, we have the Illusion. So they make many different versions of the speaker. This is the, uh, of course, the affordable line or the, we'll call it entry level, but it's not. It's just their first it's entry really nice. yeah. into Illusion. And, and then, of course, we have the woofers where the magnet is on the top here. 10 and 12. Really nice. Uh, and then we jump to the, to the step up. Yeah, and these are, so Gladen also makes BMW stuff as well. So right. that's for the under seat. These are the two door speakers. Look how tiny yeah. these guys are, though. Look at that. Love the that tiny nice. amps. Oh, yeah. Ah, here we go. So this is the new Flax. So that's that new tweeter. This is the new Flax. Yeah, this, this is, the is new the, flax. definitely the new Flax. Six and a half. A little two and a half. Inch the two and a half, three inch, and the tweeter. Oh yeah, it's got a new color. Yeah, you know, it looks like a like a K2 first generation. Well, but it's metal. See, the K2 is always made out of some Look. kind of woven material. Right, yeah. Shape-wise, it looks identical. Yep, that's right. But it's like that color. Reminds me of like a like a really high-end sink color, like that polished yeah. Yeah, yeah, polished yeah. brass. Yeah, definitely. So that's super sexy. And if you feel it, if you have the opportunity to see it, if you feel it, it's, 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 it's nice. It's uh, always nice. It's always about oh, the nice. Coaxials. Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. Look at that. So it's got the new tweeter on the coax yeah. here. You can't, let me see if I can get it. So it, it actually protrudes a little bit, which is neat. The other one was more flat. Yeah, this is yeah, like an angle. Yeah, it's got a, uh, oh, and then they added in the new surround. So this mm -hmm. is a new surround that they've added in. That's right. Where you can see, let's get a little closer. This, this whole little ridge right here is new to the line. Yeah, it is. It, it's in all of them. Yep. All of them. 
All right, let's see what we got here. They have the eight inch. Oh yeah, there's a little eight inch. So yeah, now you can get their flat woofer in an eight inch. That's nice. And then this That's is awesome. their uh, motorcycle style amplifier. Correct. This is their big format amplifier. All right, let's see what we got over here. We got some cars. They doing the demo right here. Yeah. So it's hard to get into the cars because they're they're always doing demos and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll it's see what we can do. It's hard to get into. Um, um, there's Ken. That's Ken right there. All right, let's keep let's going go here. here. This is the Stinger booth. Ooh, and they got a lot of neat stuff in the Stinger booth to talk about. Yeah, let's definitely. go back to here though. This is the one thing I'm kind of like excited about. So this is the Heighton, and this is the new Jeep JL kit for the Heighton. Uh -huh. But what's cool about this kit we just found out about, whether you buy the Elevate or the Heighton, the kit, all, it all comes as one thing. So it's like, at least that's how I understood it. Do you understand it the same way? Yeah, kind of. I mean, of, that's yeah, what it seemed like. Like yeah. it comes with both kits. So this is going to be uh, for the JK. This is going to be for the JL. Of course, we have the Camaro kit, old. And then these are the two new Camaro kits. So this is the Elevate in the Camaro kit. And then this is the Heighten in the Camaro kit. We'll go off here to the side just a little bit. Now, keep in mind, these are all prototypes. These aren't going to be the shipping finals. No. These are what they make just so that we can get an idea of What's How going it's going to look in the end. Um, here's what. This is for the Chevy, um, the GMC Sierra. Just giving you an idea of what the Heighton would look like in a dash kit that you already have Correct. access to. Of course, it's uh, Echo Master, so we have a bunch of red light or tag cam, not tag cams, but third brake light cams. That's right. And then over here, you guys might recognize this kit. This is the F-150 kit for the 8-inch. Mm -hmm. It gives us the cool gauge cluster down here, kind of like the Dodge Ram that we just did the video on. And then, of course, this is for that 3.5-inch Ford radio. What's new to this is they now have the 3-switch. So this piece here comes out, and you can either do the 2-switch like you see here, or the sweet 3-switch here. For now, a lot of these have that stop-start extra switch. So that's built into the kit. That comes with the updated version of it. Of course, the uh, X Max sound oh, dampening. Yeah. You know, with the logo. This Amplifier is nice. integration. So we got our Amp Pro right here for the Sony systems. This is the new uh, radio replacement harness, the mm -hmm. Radio Pro Advanced. Yep. These are replacing. Well, okay, they're an upgrade to what is currently out there. They have a few more options built into them for yep. future use. <laughs> and then we have this guy. This, this is, a new, is baby. a new Stinger five channel waterproof amplifier. That's right, five channel. So this is, the, they have it shown here in a, uh, for what did you call off road, ATV, yeah, yeah, one of these things. Sports. Jeep Wrangler up in that kick like we built up into there. A JL, there's not a lot of room in the new JL, especially up underneath the seat. Mm -hmm. So being able to add this up underneath that seat would be really nice. Like the one we had to do the other day. Yeah. We didn't really have enough room to fit that go-to five channel marine amp that we normally use. So I'm really excited this is available. This just actually became available today. Yep. Uh, and also they have a two channel and a four channel like yeah, you guys, guys watched in the show yeah, before. We use this one a lot of the times for a center channel. Yep. You guys ask what do we use for a center channel amplifier? We use this guy because it's, look how tiny it is. I mean, I don't, yeah, okay, here's my Apple Watch. All right. So. No, it's yeah, really it's, nice. It's tiny. Yeah. It can be hidden. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's a nice little guy. Of course, they have all the RGB. Uh, if you caught our CES review show, we talked about the radio that controls this relay bank here, so you can turn on and off all this cool stuff. Lights and, and everything. Of course, if you are in the marine area, don't forget to pick you. And if you're a big Star Wars fan or an ATV guy that wants really cool Illuminate, they got these cool lightsabers right here. I want to get a set of these and have like a lightsaber battle in the install bay. It just twists and pops off. Hey, hey, he's trying to steal this. I, I, I don't want to steal it, but yeah, this is. And of course, Echo Master has a ton of new backup cameras. This yeah, is to right. show the integration of the factory backup camera systems that they offer. This is for, for the new the mirrors. Silverados. Yep, so this is a brand new guy. So if you have a new Silverado and it didn't come with any of the camera system you want, Echo Master has solutions for it. That's right. 
Let's keep moving. Yep. Let's go. Let's go this Let's way. Go that way. DS18. Let's check them out. So DS18, of course, you guys know, is the leader in loudspeakers. Uh, they also really nice. They have these new. They have pods, so they make installation easier because they make these pods that allow you to put them in ATVs or in vehicles or on sound bars. They're on top of the game, definitely. Uh... And what they just came out with, which I hope they have here, is these new Jeep boxes. Of course, they make a full line of amplifiers. Oh, yeah. Uh, Under subwoofers, uh, micro amplifiers, they have a full line of what they can offer. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this guy. Go. Let, me, let me squeeze in here. And we have, this is the new rear door Jeep box. So whether Correct. you have a JL or a JK, this will attach to the back door. It allows you to put two subwoofers in it. It comes with the RGB lighting already built into it. So now you can just go crazy and not take up any space. They have the they have a couple different versions of these depending yeah. on what you have JLJK. This is a sound bar. Mm -hmm. So like if you just want the obscene sound bars, they have them. These are this this is coming out. This isn't out yet. So these are going to be door panels for the new JLJK and the pickup truck. Correct. Yeah. Lights removal. And, and if you're not a big fan, we did find out that if you're not a fan of this and you can remove you it. You can remove it and of course make your own cover plate to go here. Because they, they don't come loaded. But also, these are waterproof. We found that out yesterday. They're that, really, really waterproof. Yeah, so they're one of the only manufacturers that makes a waterproof loudspeaker. Yeah, that's right. And they have this one right here. So it's just like a cover. A speaker in the top. You don't have to worry about it. Alright, so let's keep moving over here. Yep. And of course, if you're into the motorsport uh, boats, they have, of course, all the wakeboard speakers that you could possibly ever want. They have the big wakeboard speakers that has the giant That's super it. tweeter in the center. Um, they have a couple different versions of that. And of course, these are all available with RGB lighting. Terminal bus bars, wire, soup to nuts, they got it all. They offer a lot of stuff. Of course, they got a giant loud vehicle here. Let's see what it does. It gets going up. That's what it does. I believe it's like a 415s, 418s. Yeah, it looks like it. That's crazy. All right, so next up on the list is JVC. What do we got here? I think we have the new Marine line. Right here. That's cool. I like the different colors. Yep. New three inch. Uh, amplifiers. Oh, that's neat. I don't know what that is. It's a remote? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. All right. Oh, hey, there's JVC's new uh, floating tablet style radio. That's cool. That is look. Yeah. Ooh, it tilts. Uh, uh, that's interesting. Very nice. All right. And of course, for demo here, we got this guy. Another ATV. Yeah. Of course, they offer for ATVs and all that stuff. And right next to JVC naturally is Kenwood. That's right. Let's go see if we can find something cool in here to look at. Oh, there There's it a is. lot of people in here. I see it's that over there. a lot of people in here. Let's just push our way through. All right, let's go. Look at that. There we go. There okay. it is, the new floating radio. Hi, guys. What's going on? How you doing? Ooh, pretty. So what do you think? This is the new Kenwood. Yes. Yeah, it's got a knob. Yeah, this is a new 10.1. 
And it feels so a lot of new technology went into this radio. Okay. One of the main Ooh. ones is held back. That kind of completes yeah. our yeah. high res profile. We have the high res amplifiers, speakers. Now we have a wireless high res streaming. Oh yeah, look at that. This, so this, is ready to this is much, wireless this is for much nicer. Bluetooth high resolution. Okay. Yeah, LDAC. Okay. And uh, check this out. we have a new screen technology. Go ahead. Basically, screen we've, we've oh, changed okay. the way the screen's out. We don't want to announce it yet completely, but oh, well, there, there's Tap a noticeable it. difference in the screen technology. Okay. Uh, we've moved all our, wind, our, our audio controls into keep one going, screen because we okay. have bigger real estate. Our mechanism will actually you tilt forward. Oh, and then this one set up. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah. Ten, 45 oh, degrees man. forward and 10 degrees back. We're kind of hitting the wall here, but that's why we managed that. it. Got independent, uh, common we also have four adjustments up and down God. and two Crap. adjustments in and out. Dude, this is awesome. So it's very easy to use. This is a Go ahead, keep touching. Yeah. Uh, he already touched on it, but this is a parametric a EQ. Okay. So we have high pass, high shelving, peaking, low shelving, and low pass. Common, front, rear, and subwoofer. Good lord. Nice. Yes. Yeah, we're doing it. So thank goodness. Definitely, definitely bringing a lot to the game this year. And you guys, wow. you guys yeah, right? right? Yes. I'm, I'm okay. inter we reintroduce HMI. Yes, yes, yes. That's very interesting. Yes. A lot of people ask for it. Yes, yes. Okay. Now we also we have, have a new camera, camera technology as well. So we have Actually, a high definition uh, rear camera. We use, we, yeah, we're, the we're, oh, high yeah. dynamic range from our rear camera is going to adjust incoming light so you very clearly see, you can see a tag between two headlights on oncoming traffic at night. It works really, really well. He's also showing off, we don't have a real, this isn't a full active model. Okay. But we yeah, because it won't be available until when? Uh, summertime. We don't have an exact date. There we go. Yes. But four camera inputs. So you can run left, right camera, especially something now, with huh? Maestro. Okay. You're going to be able to retain the factory left camera, right camera, trigger like it's supposed to. Uh, RR2 compatible? Yeah, yeah. RR2, yes, yes. Definitely RR2 with a few extra features that we have also to announce. So we're just not going to kind of keep it under our wraps right now. Right. This is a surprise. Yeah. Everybody wants to know. Um, ambient lighting feature. So a little sneaky thing we're gonna say. See you, man. Put that in the car and let the customer find that for themselves. You know they're gonna wonder why their cup holders are all lit up. Yeah, we brought it from above. That is cool. Yeah, it corresponds with the buttons. The buttons are very tactile, large, yeah, it easy feels to access. Nice. Navigation, of course. We've upgraded our navigation, so now we're giving Garmin three years free, and our Inrix, uh, our Inrix weather app, and our kind of driving app is also five years for free now so we've definitely expanded on those features Sweet. Uh, feels nice this yeah. is really nice yeah it's nice. a lot of people excited about this radio Ooh. again it's like I said it's a doubled in chassis so it's not gonna be any more challenges to mount this in a dash it's just your forward-facing part so Ooh. I think our customer installer is gonna like it it's gonna be simple for them customers are gonna yeah. like it if you look at the side the detail, even the finish on all the all all the mounting looks good. So it's a double din mount. Yes. Is that a short chassis no, or it's a normal not a depth? short chassis, but it's not any larger than a standard double din. So, okay. Yeah. Is there is the amplifier a standard amplifier? Uh, well, being an XR is going to be our highest quality stuff, okay. five volt output stuff okay. like that. And everything is attached. There's a lot of unique things about this platform, but like yeah, the EQ. Yes. Ooh. All right. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. I so when do we get our to do our unboxing video? Sure <laughs> but yeah, we also are going to introduce a new technology for updating the background images. So maybe adding some pictures. It won't be near as difficult as it was before. No more messing around with USB drives and uploading. You'll like it. Won't wait till we introduce it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's I pretty much covers anything unless you have any other questions. Oh, it's it. No, oh, they're yeah. just going to ask when can I buy one. So. <laughs> summertime. Yeah. There you go. Summertime. Right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it, Marcus. Ooh. All right. Hey. Oh, we got a Jeep. Go figure. We have the Jeep. A Jeep. Um, all right. Let's keep going. Let's head over all to right, ground All right. Let's go zero. down. Oh, watch your step. All right. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, yes. I totally want one of these. I totally want it. Oh yeah. Oh baby, give it to me. Give it to me. All right. What's so which one on? you gonna give me? This one or that one? <laughs> you ain't gonna give us either one of them. He's gonna give us a hard time. That's about it. You can choose any of them. Don't worry. But I was just telling the guys, it's so funny that when Dean comes around, he always looks at his amplifier. Oh please. <laughs>
It's so sexy. It's so beautiful. It's so nice, and what it does is, and it has more gold than a wrapper inside. <laughs> gold plate and PCB and stuff. More gold than a wrapper, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> for the people so that they bad. don't know, what is this? This is the reference line. This is an amplifier for pure sound quality. Uh, this is class AB. Handmade in Germany. Right? Made in Germany. Made Man, in Germany. this amplifier is something that I told you the story once. The guys when they put them to play, you have the, the people who like sound quality. They like they know they have to listen to the the new sound system for like a week at least and listening to the songs they already know. Oh. So listening to this amplifier, lots of people like were like, oh, I'm hearing things that okay. I yeah. didn't used to hear. You know, <laughs> yeah. Very noticeable of the sound with these amplifiers. Yes. For example, they have a competition in, in, in Europe that is called EMA, or EMA, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, EMMA. Uh -huh. And most of the cars that win those competitions over there, they are running this Ground Zero reference line. I know you guys know Christopher Bate, for example. Oh, he's, yeah. Oh, he's a very good builder, and he loves sound quality as well. We, we I hope I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking for you, Christopher, no. but I know you love the product. Mobile man. Toys. Yeah, right. we we gotta talk. We gotta come up with something. Yeah. I I, I, I it was something. Yeah, yeah man. Five stereo. <laughs> what else we there. got? What else what we got new? Talk to me, new stuff. Either brand. So, Show me what we got. The sound digital line now. We are coming with the Evo X line. It's only not out yet okay. because we are still waiting for the international patent. Okay. We don't want our friends from uh, east to copy it. Okay. Uh, the current line it took them four years to to copy. Okay. We think it's going to take even more time to copy this one. Okay. But when they do, we're going to have the patent. We okay. won't release before the patent. Makes sense. So, Tell me about it. So we are trying to keep the same uh, thought. For example, the, the, the model names and the model power ratings are the same. But they're way, way smaller. The 800.4, for example, this is 800 watts. Mm -hmm. Four channels of 200. The 800. Uh, is 44 percent smaller than it was. Wow. And then 44, people, oh, huh? 44 percent smaller. So people it? think, ah, how can you put 800 watts over there? The other one is, was already small. Man, new technology, new capacitors, new uh, MOSFETs. So these MOSFETs, they are 40 something percent smaller than the the MOSFETs we used to use, but they have 37 percent more current handling. And the capacitors, they are half the size of the capacitors you use. That, these capacitors were made for us by TDK. Wow. Uh, TDK is the Japanese brand, yep. Apcos. Uh, they are also way smaller and 32% more capacitancy. So it's more reliable, more resistant, more with more current handling, so more power in a smaller case. So four, four lines. Me. Uh, 400 wow. by 4. No, no, no. We start with the 400.2 uh, and we go up to the 12,000. But this is going to be the, the, the... Maybe I can get these? The apple of the eyes, the apple of my eyes. How, how is that? What did you do? There is an expression. It's the apple of my eyes. I don't know. Yeah, the apple of my be, eye. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is going right. to be the apple of the eyes. Uh, we Just wrote it wrongfully, so I'm sorry, guys. This is not a 2000 watt amplifier, it's 2400. Okay. So it's a little bit more. That's a four channel? Four channels. Four channels of 600 watts. Oh, wow. wow. In this casing. Wow. Is that going to be marine rated at all? Not yet, but we're thinking about doing that because everybody from the UTVs, they're like, we need that. Oh, no exactly. doubt, right? Exactly. Everybody would go crazy with these uh, amplifiers if you're there in the marine side. Yeah, so yeah. we're probably going to do something, but we're going to keep it black and stuff. Not yeah. like marine white. Why? No, no, no. Yeah, Why does I know. it have to be white? I, so do conformal coating, do stainless steel and stuff like that. And Sexy. That is awesome, man. Well, thank you so much, Mauricio. Guys, Sound I Digital. Thank I thank you. I always appreciate you guys visiting visiting all the, the exhibitors, talking to everyone you see. That's fucking awesome, guys. I love your job. <laughs> I got to bleep that out now. <laughs> did, did you make it home safe last night? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. He was happy. Always. He was oh, very no, happy. Oh, no, dude, because when, we when we were hanging out, uh, they were like, all right, well, the bar just closed. We're going somewhere we went else. To the, we went to the promenade. And okay. we closed two bars over there. You are a trooper. <laughs> you are He's a trooper. He's the man. He's the right, sound we'll digital. talk later. Right, thank man, you. Thank you. All right, all right, all right let's head over here to Vox. So any one of yeah, let's just right. head into Vox. Okay, let's so, talk about. So Vox makes.
car alarms. Yep. They make head unit. I'm sorry, headrests, overheads, integration, alarm mirrors, systems, mirrors, and, and it's OE quality. Yeah. And Box, uh, they they own backup this cameras, stuff. backup so that, mirrors. So you guys have seen GM. This is Definitely. The, this is it. This is right here. So this isn't a reflection of me. This right. is the yep. backup camera. So this is a full mirror. You can add this, you know, this is the one that comes factory in the GM style. That's right. But if you want to add this to your uh, current car because you want to lose your, your, your B pillars, or sorry, your C pillars, right. and be able to see, camera, it's flick right a button, it's and, and yeah, you get like total total coverage. And it looks it is like the weirdest factory. thing. It is the, it's so strange. Yep. Uh, the new Camaro, Sean's yep. has that. And when I okay. saw it, I was like, dude, that is incredible. So that is incredible. If you wonder where that comes from, that's Vox. There you go. Uh, and this and is them showing you how it's showing made. Showing how they made, exactly. Uh, and then here's your headrest. headrest monitors. So they own the headrest industry. This Correct. is This is 100% them. They own everybody. This market. They bought Rosen. They have Movies to Go. They have Advent. They have their house brand. Headrest, custom made. So the more expensive ones you get, like the Rosen and like their house brand, uh, these come custom made to look like your factory headrest. That's right. So, you know, Stitching. movies to go, this is a universal. This looks like a 2000, late 2000s GM model headrest. Yep. These will come factory match. And the other thing too with the Rosen is if they don't make yours, they actually have a, you can do it like you can, Download and build your own two match. So you can go to the box.com and check all the brands that they actually do. Oh. So this is them. Of course, Sirius XM, when it comes to adding in the docks, they right. control that. And then over here, you have, they have the radios to add your Sirius XM too. So anytime like someone wants to retain their factory XM, you got to add the SVX 300. Correct. They're just showing here plugged into the floating Pioneer. Nice. Wow, floating pioneer. That's new. Uh, the Python, the, the, the Sony, and, and the, Alpine. the Alpine. That's right. So, of course, they got jump boxes. This is for adding on to the factory cars that have the active headrest, or if you just don't want to mess with replacing the headrest, Nothing like that. you can yep. get a big 10-inch tablet on the back of the seat. Look at that. So it, it's it's awesome. You don't you know, have to do any Netflix custom built into stuff. It. So if you have a, a Wi-Fi hub in your car, you can just stream Netflix, log into your account right there. Hey, hey, it's me, hi. So right. really nice stuff here. Let's keep moving. All right, so next up on the list is gonna be Metro. Ooh, look at that, this is like a mobile display. Oh, look who it hey, is. Hey, Jaime, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, buddy? How's my wiring look? Is that you? That's yes. really? right, baby. Okay, nice. that's all right. Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? How are you doing? There's not enough zip ties. <laughs> there is a back side. Nice. You can't see them. Look, that look is nice. That. Nice job, buddy. That is nice. Nice job. That is nice. All what right. is this? This is, this a, is a Chevy uh, SS? Yeah. Yeah, right. it's also so made it's, a Holden. Yeah, it's, it's a Holden. Holden. Yep. So I took the badge, I made it on my laser. Yep. And I hooked it up to the doors. And then uh, Metro sponsored everything. Everything in here is Metro. The aluminum, the plastic, the uh, fuse holders T-spec, the battery that's in there, the matting. Definitely, this is a uh, Metro. Full sponsorship, yeah. Yeah, Metro, Metro paid for this whole vehicle. Should I be holding this or are you just holding it? I don't like when another guy holds this thing in my mouth. <laughs> but yeah, everything was uh, sponsored like by Metro. Issue. They wanted to build a car. So this is my uncle's car. And he said, hey, I asked him, I said, hey, you want to build something for your car? He said, not really. I said, well, you have a cool car. Can I have, can I have it for this building? He said, yeah. So they gave me all the stuff, told me to put it in. And I said, I didn't even know Metro made amplifiers, but they do. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, little cool. cute ones. And that looks beautiful. Thank that you. Awesome. Thank you. Good job, man. Yep. Future installer of the year? Oh, I hope so, man. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try. We're gonna there you try. Go. That's it, man. Uh, That's it. I got 2020 vision, man. So, so where they can good. find you? Where can they find me? I'm yeah. gonna Gore Hills, but you can find me online. Uh, you can find me uh, everywhere. So, I'm all over social media. Well, just give us the name of your store. My store is called Agora Auto Sounds. And where are you out of? 
What, where are Agora, you at? Agora Hills, California. I'm in Southern California. Oh, there you go. And then uh, my name's Jaime Palafox, not Jamie. All right. Jamie. Whatever, Jamie. Jaime. Like, <laughs> he's white. Jaime. He doesn't know he's white. <laughs> exactly. Very pale. But I tried to do the wiring just to be almost as cool as yours. I really did. Honestly, I was looking at it. I was like, oh, man, how would Dean do it? And, uh, I saw the picture that you post about the audio control. It, and right? then uh, Chris Bennett is like, wow, it looks amazing. And then you reply, where is Dean when you need it? That's right. right? That's right. Yeah. Did yeah. you see that one? Yes, I did. Yeah, that was a lot of wiring. That was five amplifiers, I know, two that was, DSPs. Yeah, that was and, nuts. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of wiring. And I was like, man, I don't know how Dean does it sometimes just to keep things clean. But, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. So you get better and better at it. You learn new tricks and stuff. But um, it's definitely nice to see stuff like yours. Thank you. Because it's uh, encouraging for the rest of us. It's inspiring. Well, thank you. Hi, Thanks, man. <laughs> we'll get with you, you later guys. and get you a yeah, lanyard. Yeah, definitely. Cool. All right. All right, brother, have a good one. Thank you. So, of course, like you guys know, Metra makes yeah. uh, lightings, sensors, speakers. And, of course, harnesses. Whoa. Distribution, dash kits. Everything. Oh, so this is, this is their, I think this is their Pioneer line. So this is you can get the Pioneer radios. Right, right, right. This is right the new, this is the Pioneer radio. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So this is their Camaro kit for That's the right. current um, Pioneer radio. But I think this is this will also take a short chassis radio. That is nice. So like if you want to do a uh, ILX W650 um, or anything that has that a 7706, you know, you're good. All you right. So that. for the people that are actually looking for integration. This is the place, oh, yeah. right these here. Are, these are the this is the Access T harness for for the car that you actually looking yep, for. These are the parts we always talk about. Um, backup camera retention. Correct. They own the backup camera retention market. That's right. So if you need to if you need to retain your backup camera, we always say MetroOnline.com. Check mm -hmm. there first because this is what they do. They have they have a ton of backup camera retention and of course T harnesses. They do have their own DSP, mm -hmm. and what they're getting into now is more car specific DSP. So they're getting away from just having T harnesses and a, and a universal module, because obviously DSP is getting a lot harder. So they're coming out with uh, car specific, where you have a brain that does things just for that car. And of course the corresponding T harnesses. If you go to their website and you go to the catalog section, they have the 2020 access catalog section. You could see a list of all the new DSPs that they have coming out for some really unique cars like Hyundais and stuff like that. So it's That's really right. nice. That's right. And of course, for you guys with the JLs, the JLs or the truck, uh, there again, this is the integration kit. Maybe it was this kit I was thinking about. That'll take I think the, it's this one. I yeah, think it's that's this the, one. That's the Jeep. Yeah, yeah that'll uh -huh. do the uh, short chassis radios. So this is, I think, available right now. You got to have a short chassis radio. It's got to right. be tiny. And for uh, all these people. But yeah. this is the speaker pods. So the JL speaker pods for this or the pickup truck are available those are shipping right now and of course they got lights and headlights yeah and more lights and more lights more lights a lot of lights it's a definitely a and lot of, of lights and more lights more lights uh, they do harley stuff a lot of harley stuff directed directed viper let's get that's into right. here okay let's see what we got going on Ooh. oh we got a little kid's car that's cool win some stuff viper connect we've talked about this this allows you to simply plug it into your OBD2 mm -hmm. and track your vehicle. That's right. Um, and anyone can do it. Now, the nice thing about this is if you pair this up with their uh, DS4 system, mm -hmm. then you get the cellular phone integration tracking from that. So you can unlock and lock your car and see where your car is at. That's right. And then, you know, we've, oh, sorry. we've talked about here hey, hey. where they have the, um, the Bluetooth uh, speakers yeah. for underneath the hood so you can add the cool arm disarm you can program in your own voice you have lots of fun if you need to do you know if you if you, if you need to do any wiring underneath the hood you can bluetooth the information from the speaker to the ds4 brain and they have their power sports uh, alarm systems right here and they have DS3. They have the DS4 oh, sorry, over there. DS3. Oh, DS3. I think, oh, oh DS4. DS3, DS4. DS4. Yeah, correct. Yep. The whole so line. Right here. Installer Net is uh, they're a service for companies that sell in. They want so basically what you do is if you're a like us. You can register with InstallerNet and people that buy things on like the internet or mass merchants, such as like Costco or Sam's or Walmart, 
uh, something along that line, they will help you find a uh, retailer to put your stuff in. Right, that's right. Arc. Ooh, what is this? All right. This is a BMW? That's a BMW. Yeah, a BMW. yeah I guess it is a BMW. Yep. Look yeah, at that. Like uh, All right. What's up, man? How you doing? Ooh, pretty. Wow, Ooh, look at that. M3. That's beautiful. Also, we got PS8s. We mm -hmm. got, this has a ton of stuff going now, on No, this here. is a cool thing. Do you guys remember in the show the Ooh. new subwoofer that they yeah. come out? Look what they put it. Wow, so that's tucked up into here, so you still have actually some trunk space. Oh, yeah. I mean, not that anyone would want to set anything on this, but no. I'm assuming they probably have a, 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 a cover. beauty panel for yeah. this. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you just still have, have access to. That's cool. That I love is that. A cool. That's a good use of this. Yep, definitely. That's a really good use, especially in a car like this where you, you don't have any like, strut bars or anything holding in your way. Full fiberglass, attach it there. Of course, sound deaden the hell out of that. Of course. To their, to their product and see what we got. Yeah, I love this. Look at the size of that hole, man. That is gigantic. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we got, yep, we got the They speakers. have six and a half. And we got more on the other side. This is the, the other amplifier. I really like everything Arc makes. They do a really nice job on all their stuff. It's really uh, nice quality build. Do you guys remember the 720? That's the. Uh, oh, yeah, the 720, the motorcycle amp. The motorcycle amp. There it is. There's the DSP. That's the DSP. DS, the PS8 Pro. Yep. Oh, and this is the. This is, um, yep, they got the cards. They got the, the controller, base knob. It's funny that they have this stuff out here. I would think they'd flip this thing around because this is the stuff I want to talk about. Right. So, pretty cool. Um, ooh. Um, they, oh, if you guys remember, look at that one. Oh yeah, Phoenix Gold. Phoenix look Gold. Look at that. This is the TI3. Yeah. This is a 3i3. Remember the power shift? We got hybrid over here. Nav TV, Helix. All right, let's head over here and we'll wrap up the show with this. Oh my gosh, That's look at hybrid. that. Oh my God, is that what I heard? Yeah, what are <laughs> these? What are these? Hold on, this is my favorite thing. All right, show me your favorite things. Can you put these on for me? Yes. Okay, I want you to take a picture of him wearing $10,000 cables. That's 10,000 bucks. Bling, bling. Wow. Does it feel like $10,000? No, it doesn't feel like $10,000. Explain me why it's $10,000. <laughs> Dude, we're going to have that conversation. Okay. <laughs> that, that's, wow. Oh, wow, look at these. Those are nice, too. And this is the same? This is actually one step lower. Okay. So. This tell me new, about. These are me. a new line of cables. Okay. From Russia, from a company called Chernobyl. Okay. And it's brand new for us. So we're still learning the line, so I'd like to go into more depth with you, but I can't curve. It's totally understandable. Totally understandable. Totally understandable. Totally understandable. Want to talk about the amplifiers? Let's talk about Can you talk about the amplifiers? The amplifiers are from England. They're made by a company called Audio Wave. They're hand-built in England. They're gorgeous. They are extremely high quality and build the most expensive amplifier currently available on the market. What, what does they that mean? Amplifiers ranging from $3,000 retail. Okay. You have a full Class A. In an entry level, 10 watts per channel, class A. 10 watts? Class A. class A 10 watts. Class A 10 watts. Wow. 190 watts by two in their mid-level called the Aspire Pro. Is this still an A? This is class AB. Okay. You right, make okay. a class A in this line as well. Okay. Then you have their Ooh, I like that. Model. I didn't this even notice that. This is $8,700 retail amplifier. This is their mid-level. Wow. Can this I touch it? I can touch it, right? Yes, you can. Just don't oh. touch the terminals. Why? Is it going to uh, shock me? <laughs> no, get your your oils from your finger transfer makes imprints into. We well, don't want to do that. Yeah, yep. Uh, the top wow. end products retail for thirty five thousand dollars for a two channel amplifier. Wow. And that looks so pretty. Again, That's... hand built. When they need to do multi channels, because this is two channel, they just take an extrusion, double that size, drop in two. And that oh, is that's cool. Channel. That is cool. Yeah. But they're still become wow. two separate. So behind you, I see a really nice speaker line yes, as well. So is that we got Dyn over here. Yes, we do. Starting in March, we will be the national distributor for Dyn, Dyn Audio products. Look at that! Ooh, 
Wow. And of course, I saw a hybrid logo. Is that what's... We have hybrid audio behind us. Dude, huh? totally. Yep. So, yep. Okay. We're on the wrong side of the bench, but that's okay. So we can, I can move over there. Right, you guys yes. stay here. We're showing their 15th year anniversary Ooh. product line. Okay. So this is a $4,000 retail component set. All right. For two-way. I love the boxes. It really, oh, that is so nice. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got a little etched logo in there. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So what else so we got? In April, we take over the national distribution for hybrid audio products. Okay. <clears throat> this is Zabco, right? This is ESB. So this is Zabco's, I would say, sister line. So okay. this is their sister line of speakers. So we have the 2000 series, 5000 series, and 8000 series of speakers. Ooh. Let's pull this off for you so you can see the back side. Yeah, dude, that is gorgeous. So the build quality is extremely high. You know, it's almost a shame when we have to put these things in like panels and doors and stuff and right. never see them. It's like, oh man, that is awesome. That is beautiful. And we got all the big amps. Very nice. Ooh. And we have hey. DSP. And we have the 16 channel flagship DSP. Okay. That is sweet. Also new? Yes. This has been long awaited. This is an iPhone interface for the step down processor. So not the flagship, but the normal everyday six in, eight out. Okay. This is a... Is that the one we have? I think that's the one we have. Yes. So this is the... Replaces the controller with a new controller that you can then plug in your iPhone. Okay. And you can extract the music from your iPhone in digital. 24 bit 192. Wow. So it uses USB? Yes. Okay. So you have so on your iPhone you have to use the uh, nope. the camera kit? Plugs directly in. Okay. And you can replace it with this. So this replaces this controller that this unit comes with. So you take that, put it away in your toolbox, put the upgraded controller in, and you have full That's flexibility cool. from your phone. That, Very makes nice. that is really nice. Your phone straight into the processor. Very nice. I like it. So what? What are, when do you guys take over the line? Uh, we took over the line at CES. Okay. So ARP of America was created uh, in January. Okay. To bring high-end distribution of high-end products to America. Do you guys have a website yet? No. Okay. I have a over. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so, so thank much, you guys. So much. I appreciate it. And there you go. Well, that's it. Thank you so much. All right, All right guys. That's going to end it for today. That's, that's half of the show floor. I know what you're thinking. This is an audio frog car. These guys are waiting to get pictures. Hey, this guy, this is done by Anthony. Yep, this is Anthony's right. car. That's the one they've been working on if you guys uh, follow his YouTube channel. That's right. Um, but that's it. So I'm, I'm sorry we didn't get to go we still live. Have, we still have more to go. Oh, yeah. We so still got more to go. We still got a whole other exactly. half to go. But this tomorrow? Month, we, went, we did exactly half. We're right down the hallway that's here. Right. So right behind me is half of the yeah. thing. Yeah. So we'll do the other half tomorrow. There again, it's probably gonna have to be pre-recorded because apparently right. the Wi-Fi here blows. It does, it's, not, it's not working fine for us. So, no. but other than that, you guys are gonna see everything that we're talking about. Yeah. Everything. And we want to, of course, thank Audio Control for being the sponsor of the show. Head over to AudioControl.com. Check out their line of products. That five channel we just found out that's coming. It's gonna be here this summer. New Super Marine excited about that. And of everything. course, if you want the ultimate tool to tune your car. DMRTA is for you. If you want to know more about that, of course, head over, check out the DMRTA. Check out the cool video we did on showing you how to use it. If right. you're a professional and you don't have an RTA, you're not a professional. You're just a guy doing stuff. So definitely head over there, get them up, get the new pro if you need it. And that's it. Definitely. We're out of here, guys. We got to get back to the booth because we got to talk to people. So thanks so much for tuning in today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.